Hello and welcome to an in-depth guide for Fell Totem's Fall as through the Beast Mastery perspective. Uh, today we'll be looking at a few important preparations, some of the key boss mechanics, and just general things you need to know for going into this fight. So as you can see here, we're just walking into the arena right now. So some of the important preparations is your legendary setup. One thing I found extremely useful is Pride Eyes for that shield, and the, it's a huge primary stat or secondary stat boost, so that's really helpful as well. Beyond that, I'm using the shoulders just because I'm one of the lucky huntards who got the shoulders. Um, other people have recommended using the roots of Shaladrasil for that healing bonus while standing still, because healing in here really doesn't, or it's pretty huge damage, really doesn't matter. The boss fight will go on for as long as you want, there's no enrage. Other key things, you'll notice I'm using a spirit beast. The Spirit Beast is in Tenacity spec, so it just has that damage reduction. It's extremely useful to have all of that. Um, and other people are recommending using a Shale Spider or something of that sort just for more damage reduction. Um, okay, so moving on to the boss mechanics and things. As you can see, we're fighting the boss right now. The biggest thing on this fight is Fell Burst. It's an interruptible mechanic that the Fell Totem Tarn casts. It hits for 3.8 million, basically one-shots your pet. If it kills your pet basically leave and reset the dungeon it's not worth saying because his aggro table will not reset off of you so the interrupt rotation for that is counter shot intimidation and then freezing trap if you need it need it as a reserve another useful thing to note here is you can use misdirect on your pet due to our artifact trait which will reduce the amount of damage your pet takes beyond that the important mechanics of this fight are to kill the little totems don't stand in the bad and cleave down the little worms the little totems if their cast gets off you get stunned for five seconds basically you're gonna die from some other aoe effect uh the little worms they come down when he when the rocks fall from the ceiling it's just two little eggs just cleave them down they don't do a whole lot of damage it's all avoidable as long as you're not standing in the bad useful stuff right um so beyond that the big worm what we have to deal with him is he pretty much burrows around, as you can see in that kind of dust cloud going around in the background, and I'm really bad and get hit right there. So basically what he does is what you need to do is you need to guide him into those rocks that fall down from the ceiling and have the little swirly around them. That thing, it removes a stack of his armor, basically making him take 10% more damage. The goal, by the time you kill the Tarn, is to have him take hit a rock 10 times, because then it'll take full damage when you're trying to burst him down at the end. So that... It's really not that difficult to do. As you can see, I kind of sucked at it. I only got him to hit it nine times by the end of this uh, when I killed him. So really, it doesn't matter as long as you can do enough damage. I'm pulling roughly 700,000 damage, 700, damage per second this entire fight to give you an idea of where the damage requirement was at for me. But there's the rocks down under the ground right there. You can see him running through one. DBM pops up a thing saying that he went through it and he lost a piece of his armor. Basically, you see that 10 times, you're good. You can kill him pretty easily when it comes out. And he just kind of chases you all over the place. Just avoid him and just have fun and kill the boss. Beyond that, so when the boss dies, the worm goes back to where he's reset to right now. He will never leave that position, and he just keeps shouting. Granted, he does get in a rage um, from the Tarn dying. He gets in a rage of 150% damage increase towards that shout. But that being said, it's really easy to interrupt him. Um, on that rotation, you can't use counter shot. It doesn't work there. But beyond that, you can use intimidation and freezing trap, which is easily enough. If you need a backup, save your aspect of the turtle. As you can see, we'll be using that later on. It's really easy to do that there. And it's just a clean way of interrupting him and getting it down. And basically, once you get to him, as long as he doesn't have a crazy amount of armor stacks still remaining, you win. So, congrats, and I'll let you guys watch the rest of this video just to see how the final part plays out, and you guys can see the new weapon skin at the end of the video. As always, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and thank you for watching, and please subscribe if you guys are interested in more type of content like this. And as always, I will see you guys next time.
do here? What's this? Tugar has fallen. You had all the fun without me. With Tugar gone, the Feltotum should present less of a threat. Even so, I will keep an eye on those treacherous fiends until their legion masters are defeated. Your Kirin Tor have given me one of their portal crystals. No doubt they will be pleased to hear of your success. Many thanks, hero. We will meet again. <laughs>